Today we are going to be replacing the black valve. It's been harder and harder to open, so that guy right there. First we have to dump our tank. And I guess I'm gonna include the info about this Rhino rinser because it's amazing. I don't know how we ever lived without it and the stuff that it gets out of there that was left in there for all the years that this trailer's been around is amazing. So we're gonna hook up the hose and I'll show you what happens. Okay, we're gonna dump the tank now. Prepare yourself for some nasty poopy water footage if I can pull this valve open because it's so hard. And without the rhino rinser on, pretty much this is, you know, you'd wait and this is it. And little, you know, pieces are coming out, but I mean, you'd wait for it to quit and then you'd plug up the hole. So now watch when we turn the water on. Within the nastiness. All the extra goo that comes out. It would otherwise be stuck in there. Turn it off and on a couple of times. Today we're obviously going to rinse it to death because I don't think my husband wants any poopy water on him when he changes that valve. But look at all that stuff that would still be in there. I mean, it's not even near clean. I mean, we'd have to, I think normally we rinse it five times at least normally. dog always has to come through. One of these is a must-have if you have a trailer. You have to get some version of this tank rinser situation. So we're going to keep cleaning until the water runs clear. We've been rinsing for a good 30 minutes at this point. And it's been running clear. Every once in a while you'll see some contents come through and you just keep rinsing. It's clear. I think the rocks make it look a little on the brown side, but that water is perfectly clear. So now we're going to disconnect everything and replace that valve. Valve replacement time. Take the hose off. Four bolts. We're gonna loosen the bolts. The bolts that were on there were a little rusty. They've been on there quite some time. Bolts are coming off fairly easy. Yesterday my husband sprayed them all with some penetrating lubricant because we knew we were gonna be doing this today just to make sure that they came off easy. We have no idea how long they've been on there. 
we want to make sure that they came off without any issues. Not the easiest angle. I think we're going to put the valve on in a different spot too, so we're not trying to pull it at a weird angle above the tire. That's always been pretty difficult. I'm not quite sure why it's that way. Not a good spot for this whole thing because it is right next to the tire. If you have a blowout, you're going to take out your entire system here. Success. Here's the old one. Only had one bolt that broke off. But otherwise, we've got it off. There's the bolts, and this is the, the broken one here. And we've got the spot where it goes, just fits right in between there. Here's the new piece. All clean, opens easy, new bolts. We ordered this from Walmart. It's like $15. Had it shipped to the store and picked it up. It's the cheapest we found. It's the old one and the new one. Look at that. Opens super easy. Closes. Putting the new valve on, and we're orientating it a little bit different because it was pretty difficult to try to reach your arm in here between the tire and the trailer and pull it. So we're going to put the handle facing left instead of right this time. This one didn't fit like the other ones. See? So we had to flip it the other way so we could get a wrench in there because that pipe's in the way. So now we're going to tighten up all of our bolts. There's the new valve. Opens and closes with ease now. We've Certainly thought the other one, every time you pulled on it, it was going to break off. And then what? So, no. Got a perfect working valve.